Hello ladies and gentlemen, this video will be an introduction to methods. So we've actually talked a lot about methods, and uh, we've used them even. But I never really explained exactly how they work or what they do. For this video, I will be doing that now. So there's two words that you need to know. It's their function and uh, method. So these are very similar words. A function is something we can just call and we can give it data and it will do something with our data. For example, ABS will give us the absolute value of a number, such as 4, or negative 5, basically how far away it is from 0. That is a function. We call it and then we give it data to do something with. Well, a method does the same thing, except we have to say what we are going to do it on first. So we would, we would put something like, let's make a li, a li let's make a, uh, a string, we'll make it legit, and we'll just call it, we'll give it the value pi. Now what we do is we put legit, period, and then we call a method. And you can see all these options pop up when we wait long enough. And these are all the uh, methods we can call on legit. So let's just use uh, find. Find is an example of a method. So here's how we set up a method. We say the object we want to do something on and then what we want to do to that object so we want to find something within legit so what do we want to find let's find the index of e and it gives us two that's an example of a method so here's the object we're doing it on what we want to do and then we give it arguments so are you may also hear the terms arguments and uh parameters. Now these these two terms are slightly different although you will probably hear them interchanged quite often. Basically when you define a function or a method you give it a temporary variable such as like x and then within that method you can say print x. Well the value that we give that variable is the argument. The variable itself is the parameter. So earlier when we defined functions such as uh, the, a cat, so what we do is we have a variable in here, we could say x, and then we could say print x, okay? Well this right here, this is a parameter, right? And then when we call this function cat, we give it the value 5, or sorry, well yeah, we'll just give it. So this is an argument that we give to the parameter. So when we do something such as legit find dot I mean legit dot find or period find and then the letter e well this is the argument that we give the method so methods and functions are pretty much the same thing the only difference is that methods must be used on a specific object so if you have to put dot and then the the uh, name of the method well then you know it's a method if you can just call it like like this, well then you know it's a function. Alright, so um, sometimes a method can allow for multiple uh, arguments, which means they have multiple things you can do. So let's just go through some of the basic string methods, and we will give them each uh, arguments if required. So let's just use legit, and we will use, uh, let's use the method count. Now what count will do is it will count how many times something is in the object. So let's, since we only have three letters, let's just count i. And it's going to return one because there's only one i. But what if I assign legit to be, and then I go uh, legit count and I count the e's. Well now you can see there's seven e's. So that helps us do that helps us learn more about our data. There's some other things we could there's some that return only true or false, such as So ends with, you can think of this as a question. You could say ends with i false. We could try it again, ends with e true because you can see it does end with an e. So it's basically you're asking does legit end with E? And if it returns true, it does. Uh, there's some more. We can go lower. I'm sorry. We can go uh, 
legit dot lower which basically just lower cases everything and you can see this doesn't need any uh, arguments because it already has everything it needs all it needs is to know what it needs to do it on so we could also do legit sorry upper that will put everything in uppercase another uh, f uh, m method or function that we could do on these are R strip and L strip and what these will do is it'll take a certain it'll get rid of a certain string or phrase or letter at the end of a string so let's say we have legit and let's assign it the value uh, pi okay and what we want to do is we want to get rid of the exclamation mark we could say legit R strip we use R strip because it means right strip so that means this side and then within these parentheses we give it a uh, argument we could say this and you can see it actually returns it and prints it out to the screen without the the exclamation mark and now when we when we uh, call it or when we print it out I'm sorry oh we can say legit and it will see uh the thing is the R strip temporarily removes it but it doesn't actually change the original value you can see when we when we call legit or when we uh, type legit we could print it which will return the old value so when we do R strip it doesn't actually change the value and some of these work this way but let's try okay let's look at legit dot upper and then let's print legit you can see it's still lowercase. So if it returns a value like this, it might not be actually changing the original values. So how we could change the original values, we could say legit equals legit upper. Now when we print legit, it changed the actual value. By the way guys, in, the, in uh, previous videos I always printed like this, which works, although it if you just take out print for uh, learning sake you can just put legit and it's a whole lot easier but when you're making a program you may want to use print so for future videos if I don't use print and I just type out like legit well that works it's basically the same thing so uh, those are just some of the methods we can do uh, here's a couple more we could use uh, we could use uh, replace so let's go legit replace here, let's um, first assign a new value to legit. Let's make it, I like llamas. And now let's go legit replace llamas. And then we put a comma, ostriches. And it returns that. And then when we um, have legit printed out, you can see it didn't actually change the original value. So some of them are going to change the value, others are just going to return the value and not actually change the original value. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's do let's do one more. We could say uh, title, so legit.title. What this will do is it will capitalize every first letter. I like llamas. And then you might want to assign that to legit. So we could say legit equals legit title and then we could say legit all right well that's all i have to say in this video so hopefully that was useful and be sure to stick around for the next one thank you and subscribe